Good day, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times, for those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died, for proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders, for those who send their private intentions, for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicine developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly through protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, help the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us, San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us, Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us.
Please stand. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing a In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today our readings tell us to continue to trust in God's providence. May we put our trust in God, that God be always bless us in every day, in the daily activities of our lives. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times you associated yourself with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, 
Do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is come shall come. He shall not delay, but my just one shall live by faith. And if he draw back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and the fields in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice done from you delight. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he call in dust, does it lie prostrate, for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, kami ay gawin mong daan ng iyong pag-ibig kapayapan at kataruhan, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seeds on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seeds would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the shekels at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed. Then when it, when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With much or with many such parables, he spoke the, the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today's Gospel Paul tells us of uh, parables, no? Jesus giving instructions to the people or telling them 
uh, the, uh, the king about the kingdom of God through parables. At uh, today rin po, ang ating pong gospel tells us that the effects of what we do creates a ripple effect na tinatawag po natin ngayong panahon natin. No? Kagaya ng sabi po ng, ng ating Panginoon sa ating pong gospel ngayong araw na ito, that uh, He compared the kingdom of God into a mustard seed. No? Na ibig sabihin po, maliit na, na butil, pero once na naitanim dyan sa, sa, sa iyong puso, ito ay nagkikreate ng malaking puno. No? Sa ating pong panahon, it's called the ripple effect or yung tinatawag po natin sa mga businessman ngayon na networking. No? No, or meron din nagsasabi na this is what we call pay it forward. Gagawa ka ng mabuti, yung ginawan mo ng mabuti, gagawa din ng mabuti sa kapwa, then everybody is doing good to everybody. No? So sharing of what is good, no? continue and spreading the word of God. No? Yan po yung sinasabi po ni Jesus sa ating pong gospel. So, ang gusto niya, tayo sana yung maging mustard seed. Tayo yung magbunga. Tayo yung mag-grow. No? The kingdom of God grows in us. No? That makikita yan ng ating family. Then yung family natin, may spread yan sa kanilang mga classmates. May spread yan sa workplaces natin. Then from the classmates, may spread din sa kanilang kanilang uh, uh, families din no so lahat ay na-experience ang pagmamahal ng Diyos no yan yung sinasabi sa atin ni Jesus sa ating pong gospel may ripple effect ang goodness no kaya Jesus is challenging us to continue to do what is good no continue to spread kindness di ba yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating pong Panginoon Maalala po ninyo nung kasagsagan ng, ng pandemic na hindi tayo makabili ng pagkain, mahal ang, ang bilihin. ba diba? Doon sa Quezon City, meron nag-umpisa ng, ng tindahan no? na magdadala ka ng pagkain. No? You bring what you, you, you can share and you can get what you need. ba diba? Inumpisahan doon. ba diba? yung, market, yung, uh, yung market, no? So, you bring what you can give to the community, pwede ka rin kumuha na, na kung kaanong kailangan mo. Hindi lamang po nag-umisbong yun sa Quezon City. Lahat na, unti-unti na pong gumawa nung kabutihan na yun, di ba? So lahat na po tayo ay nag-share. Lahat na rin po tayo, pinakita natin na kailangan din natin, di ba? So we help one another. That is what Jesus is telling us, no? Ganyan ang kaharian ng Diyos. That it is like a, a, a mustard seed lumalaki yan sa atin para ipahayag natin sa iba iparamdam natin ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa iba and secondly sabi rin po sa atin ng ating pong gospel na do not worry too much sabi rin po ni Jesus kagaya din tayo ng mga butil no no sabi ng ating Panginoon kung ang butil nga ng ng palay hayaan mo diyan tutubo yan no it's god's creation it's god's providence na yan ay tutubo kaya tayo din po magtiwala tayo sa panginoon god will provide god will take care of us in other parts of the the bible sabi nga niya kung mga ibon nga hindi pinapabayaan ng diyos paano pa tayo na kanyang mga minamahal na mga anak. No? So today's gospel reminds us again of our relationship with God. Na sana po, we don't, na hindi natin hayaan na mawala ang ating pong, pag, ang ating pong relasyon sa Panginoon. Most especially, huwag tayo mawalan ng tiwala sa ating Panginoon. Most especially during these times of difficulties. No? But we continue to trust in God. Kagaya ng sinabi ng Panginoon, kung ang mga, ang mga seeds o ang mga butil tumutubo ng kusa dahil ito ang plano niya. God has His own plan for us. We only again trust in God's providence and God will lead us to what is good and God will always provide for us. Amen.
Please stand. Full of hope, trust, and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious for an increase of His presence in our lives. In our repetition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day, Seek God even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith, by uniting their sufferings with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of time in which you are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. 
Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. In Him alone is our hope. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone. What have we to offer that God 
does not fade or wither. Can the world ever satisfy the emptiness in our heart in vain? We deny in Him alone is our hope in Him alone is our strength in Him alone are we justified in Him alone are we saved Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart. I come to ask you this favor. To whom can I turn and not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek, if not in the treasure which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where should I knock, if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted protection when afflicted, persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and, in light, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. Sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this may act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in by me and all those and all your creatures forever. Grant me the grace for which I implore you through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother. You entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Look, O Lord, on the prayers of your family and grant them the sustenance and assistance they humbly implore, so that strengthened by the help of 
they, they need, they may preserve in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. O sacred heart, O love divine, do keep us near to Thee, and make our love so light to Thine, that we may wholly be. Heart of Jesus, hear, O heart, O love. Please kneel. Prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with your burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to thy in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.